when we're sort of stirring the pot, whether it's activism or accomplice or whatever it is, there isn't necessarily an us and them. In my work, I talk a lot about empathy being the fuel of inclusion. We can put all the programs in place we want to put in place, but if we don't have empathy for each other, it's just a bunch of people disagreeing with each other. I am Johnny. And I am Maria. And we're the co-hosts of Johnny and Maria Go There. Anger looks different with different people. With me, it's tears. And so we're talking ugly cry tears, like the like a snot bubble out. <laughs> just like, so that's me. That's how anger shows up. I mean, my husband knows he's in big trouble if snot bubbles are happening. He's like, oh, she's pissed. Yeah. Curiosity is the number one trait of empathetic people, in case you didn't know. It's being able to create those relationships with other people yeah. that you can trust them to be radically honest with you. Yes. Find a person, whether you live with them or they're your friends or whatever it is, that can remind you who you are. Because I do think women in particular are far more susceptible to that self-doubt yeah. and it gets planted really quickly and easily. And then everyone in the conference room is like, I don't know what Johnny was doing, that was crazy. And I'm like, what? Instead of react, take that moment. And if you need that moment, ask a question first. And that actually helps build trust because people want to talk. They want to tell you about themselves or how they're feeling. We talk about gaslighting a lot in the context of someone doing it to us, but especially women, underrepresented groups, I think we do it to ourselves. You have a voice. Use it.